Hello and welcome to Camp Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff member or a volunteer will be showing you an artwork from a permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please join us every day at 10 a.m. for a new conversation. My name is Zuri and I'm a docent at the Cincinnati Art Museum. For today, I have chosen a piece from our Lauriston Bronze Collection. It's a horse bit with chickpeas. Where is Lauriston? Luristan is a province in western Iran, bordering Iraq. Luristan is located in a mountainous area. This mountain range is called Zagros. Some parts of the Zagros Mountains go over to the northeastern region of Iraq and also to the southeastern part of Turkey. The total length of the Zagros Mountains is 990 miles. The southern part of the Zagros is called Luristan. The Zagros Mountains have significant ancient history. The Lorison bronze objects came to the notice of the world art market sometime in the late 1920s and were excavated in considerable quantities by local people. The artifacts found in Lorison, which are mostly metalwork produced in the first half of the first millennium BC, sometime between 2,500 and 3,000 years ago, consists of ornaments, metal pins, metal harness, also weapons such as axes and daggers. Even though a great number of pieces have been found, little is known about the people who made them. Residents of Luriston are most frequently understood as nomadic people. During the summer, the plains get hot and thus horses and cattle must be driven to higher pastures. As mentioned before, a large group of Lorison bronzes are horse gear related, such as bits and cheek pieces. Bronze is a metal alloy. Its main components are copper and tin. And cheek pieces are pieces connected to a bar which goes into the horse's mouth. At the side, there are rings through which a strap goes through on each side. By holding the reins, the rider can direct the horse which way to go and when to stop. Here, our horse bit with cheek pieces has a master of animals motif. The composition is very balanced and symmetrical. The mass of animals is a motif in ancient art showing a human between two confronting animals. The lord or master of animals can be male or female. In our case here, the master is male. The horns represent the strength of a bull and the wings the freedom of a bird such as an eagle. The eagle flies high and has sharp eyes. The human face represents intelligence. The animals on each side of the master of animals can be realistic looking or be mystical monsters such as griffins or sphinxes. This image symbolizes the human domination over nature. Winged beasts are popular themes for metal cheek ornaments. It seems that figure cheek pieces have been developed in Iran. The quantity of horse bits found could be an indication that an organized cavalry force, wealth and power existed in that region. A griffin is a mythological creature with a lion's body, winged or wingless, and with a bird's head, usually that of an eagle. The griffin was a favorite decorative motive in the ancient Middle Eastern and Mediterranean lands. It is used to show strength and military courage, leadership and intelligence. Our creatures seem to be just winged lions or tigers. It also seems as if our master of animals is standing on a tree. Maybe it is representing the tree of life between the two winged lions or tigers who are showing us the open mouth, ready to attack the potential attacker. The horse's neck is where an attacker, being an animal or a human fighter, would aim for. These tigers or lions with extraordinary power as they have wings and the mass of animals are facing the attacker, scaring him off. They are the protector of that horse. 
The more I look at this piece, the more I seem to understand the intention of the designer. What do you think? Come and see our beautiful piece. It is on display in our newly designed Ancient Middle East Gallery. Thank you.